I'm currently at the train station. Gonna take my train to the airport. I'm really tired because I've been carrying my suitcase down all these stairs. But the day has finally come. I'm going to Korea today. It is so freaking empty. Can't believe this is actually happening. Like, me and Vicky have talked about me going to Korea since kind of like March or May of 2021. And it just never happened. And I can't believe it's happening. And it all happened really fast from me like quitting to me going. So I'm just so, so freaking excited. It's currently 9 a.m. So I'm about like two and a half hours early. Gonna, you know, eat my sandwich that I got. So yeah, I'll see you guys probably when I'm on the plane. I'm super excited. I'm currently in my quarantine hotel and I should be sleeping but I'm just like not that tired because of the jet lag which I'm kind of surprised about because prior to this I was basically awake for 24 hours I woke up at 6 45 on the day of my flight and then I didn't go to sleep until technically like 5 a.m america time and I didn't sleep at all on the plane either I think I'm just getting freaking old like I can't sleep the way I used to but I just kind of want to do a quick check-in vlog um, or check-in moment since I got here and I feel like I could wake up right now and just be a little bit productive in terms of cleaning things up a little bit because i literally got here and i just like unpacked my luggage is all messy everything's right there and then all of this is like super unpacked oh also um i'll give you guys a quick tour so i'm currently at the entrance right now and this is a little alleyway um this is the closet and then you walk in and basically there's three beds like three beds and then the walkway is like really little like this is all you have basically and then over here is like this tiny little area right here and then the bathroom is right there which is like i think is an okay size you know there's a shower and then there's a little bathtub thing right here and yeah that's basically the entire room this is my view really nothing much there's just construction and like the back of a parking lot The cleaning's done and the place is a lot more tidy. Not that it was really messy to begin with, but at least stuff has its place. I put all my documentations away. Maybe I'll even get a workout in. So I'm not laying in my three bed all day. I'm on level 1723. I've been playing this since high school. Like literally when the first came out, I played it until I reached the end when they didn't have any more levels. That's how into it I was. And it got really hard. 1723. Honestly, I'm pretty proud of this. Like, I'm pretty sure not a lot of my friends have gone to this level, you know? They just passed out lunch, and this actually looks like the best meal that they passed out since I've been here. So always comes with a little soup. It came with a little jello cup. Super excited for this one. I love jello cups. This is what I should have gotten as snacks to here. Like I was at HMart thinking what snacks or what kind of food I want to bring into quarantine but nothing really like spoke to me this speaks to me I should have gone jello the only thing I wish was that there's a microwave here so I could make it warmer or they give us warm food because by the time I eat this it's always like kind of cold and I'm like is it, does every room not have a microwave or did I just get unlucky and got the room that didn't have a microwave this is how it looks like it doesn't look very appetizing, so we'll see if it tastes as good. It's not bad. It'll be better if it's warm, but this is definitely the best meal that I've had since I've been here, for sure. It's currently 5 p.m. Just doing a check-in with you guys. You guys can probably tell, not being very productive. I am totally slapping myself on the face. Is that the saying? Is it slap myself in the face? If it is, great. If it's not, I'm still gonna use that. I totally slapped my face, slapped myself in the face, saying that I'm gonna have the most productive day ever. Yeah, after I ate lunch, 
did not start watching Iron Man. Watch Iron Man 2, just finished 3, and now I'm gonna watch Age of Ultron. There's a bidet, is that what it's called? Like a bidet in my bathroom, so it could clean your butt. Um, and I've never used one before. I was like, oh, this is the perfect time to try it out. But not gonna lie, I was a little nervous because I was like, what if the water is so strong and just shoots straight into your butthole, you know? But it was all good. It was actually very gentle and the water was really warm. I don't know why I just expected the water to be cold, but it was like really warm. Um, and it was quite a... I, I can't really say if I like it or dislike it. It was just interesting because I was like kind of nervous for it and then it did it. I was like, Okay, this is interesting. I can see why people enjoy it. This might be a little TMI. I should have given us a fair disclaimer or warning that this was gonna be a TMI thing. I'm sorry. Oh my god, you guys, it's covered in snow. This is so exciting to me because I've never been to a place where it's covered in snow like that, where you, if you walk, you leave footprints behind. But at the same time, I'm kind of worried because that means it's freaking cold outside and I don't know if my legs could survive. Like, I got my jackets, my upper body's always fine. It's always my legs because pants just aren't warm enough. Like, leggings definitely not warm enough, so I'm a little worried, but... Happy Lunar New Year! When 2022 happened like on January 1st, it didn't feel like a new year to me because I was still at home and there wasn't much change to my environment. So in my head, it really didn't feel like it was 2022 yet. And then when I went to Seattle, it started to feel like, oh, I was preparing for the new year. And now the new year is here. And it just kind of worked out that Lunar Year New Year also happened on February 1st because like this new month, new year kind of thing and you know, I'm ready to make 2022 my year. So I just finished filming my podcast episode with Sharon and Vicky, then I had lunch and then in the process we caught up for about like an hour or two. It just always happens. We always just talk for a little bit afterwards. So yeah, um, today's my last day in quarantine, so I need to clean up a little bit and be ready to go tomorrow because it's a really early, early checkout. I basically have to go downstairs by 6.30 to do the whole checkout thing and then they, they take me to the Seoul Station where I'm meeting up with Vicky! So excited! Just also a little bit of quarantine reflection, like, I really thought I'll be productive. I had all these things planned out, like, I'ma film this video, this video, I'ma stay active, I'ma edit, I'ma learn these and this and that. And I didn't. I was productive for maybe two days. Like I finished my vlog, finished podcast, but I didn't really do anything new that I was planning to do, which I'm a little bit like disappointed in myself. And the reason for me not doing it is because quarantine, I hate how I keep using it as an excuse. Kind of like, oh, I can't be alone or I don't like to be alone. And then I just sit in my freaking negative ass thoughts and then just basically don't want to do anything, but then once I talk it out with either with someone or even just talking to a camera, I feel so much better about it afterwards. And I'm like, why didn't I just do this sooner? Because I know it makes me feel better. But then in that moment, I just don't want to do anything, especially pick up a camera because I'm just feeling so low. So just this like bad habit that I have to break and just figuring out what will bring me up. And for me, that's talking to someone or even talking to a camera. And I'm going to try to, not, I'm going to implement more of that into my life. Like if I'm feeling down or something, I'm going to talk to a camera. So yeah, that's a little bit of reflection. Um, so, you know, things happen, life happens. I'm not saying it's okay that it happened, but it's lesson learned. And the important thing is that when you learn these things, you remember it. You don't fall into the same patterns again and you figure out how to improve how to kind of solve this problem that you have so yeah you know you learn and you you live and you learn is that the saying i think that's the saying good morning so it's currently 6 30 a.m and it's like really quiet in the streets but we just got dropped off at the Seoul station and I'm waiting for Vicky to pick me up like a child would but oh my god I'm out of quarantine it's fucking freezing I'm only wearing leggings and my legs are gonna freeze off but it's okay it's not like it's not as bad as I thought which is really good so yeah I'm so excited to see Vicky